Welcome back. We're now at the famous monkey and gun experiment for projectile motion. Though the fun of Giancoli is they've chosen a boy to fall out of a tree while someone else is firing a water balloon at him. In this case, we're aiming horizontally at the boy in the tree. So V initial is all in the X direction and as soon as we launch the water balloon, the boy drops from the tree. The question is, does the water balloon hit him on the way down? So, as we look at this, let's choose over and down as positive. So, for our projectile, the water balloon, the initial position, final position, initial velocity, and acceleration as stated. The initial position in X and Y are zero. The final position in the X direction is D, we're going to list unknown as the final position in the y. There's an initial velocity in the x direction, but not in the y. And there's no acceleration in the x direction, but there is acceleration positive in the y direction, because down is positive. So in the x direction, our only equation is x equals x initial plus vit, and x initial is zero. So we're going to solve for time. So time eventually becomes x over t, or d over t, because our final position is d. And for our projectile, projectile y equals y naught plus viy t plus one half a t squared, where y naught and viy are zero. So, using these two equations, we can find that the final position of our projectile, once it's travel distance d, will be one-half a t squared, or one-half a d squared over v initial squared. Now we're going to talk about our boy dropping. So, as he drops, his initial position is zero, his initial velocity is zero, so we find y equals one-half a t squared. When the balloon makes it distance d, the same amount of time has passed for the boy as passed for the projectile. So what we're going to find is the position of the boy will be at one-half a d squared over v squared. Therefore, the final positions are the same so long as the boy starts high enough that the ball actually makes it D before hitting the ground. That's the only limiting factor in this case, which happens to be the limiting factor in the next case. So now this is done in the MIT video. Um, what happens if we aim at an angle? If we aim at an angle, the boy is going to drop and he starts at position H and falls down and ends at some position y. So for the boy, h is equal to L tangent theta. y final is y. v initial is 0. Acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. We have delta y equals vit plus 1 half a t squared for our boy. Again, so delta y becomes one-half a t squared. So let's talk about our projectile for a little bit. The projectile starts out at x initial and v initial are both zero. x final is equal to L. v initial x is v i cosine theta. There's no acceleration and we don't know the time. The initial position of the in the y direction is zero. v i y is v i sine theta. There is acceleration due to gravity. So we're going to do x equals xi plus vit and solve t equals x over vix or l over vi cosine theta. That's the amount of time it takes to travel the distance l with initial velocity at some angle. So we get delta y equals viy t plus one half a t squared. Using these equations together, we get vi sine theta over vi 
cosine theta times L plus one-half A D squared over VI cosine theta. The VIs cancel, sine over cosine is tangent. So what we're going to get is delta Y equals L tangent theta plus AT squared over 2 VI squared cosine squared theta. Let's go back to our boy following, falling and plug in for the time. Delta Y is Y final minus Y initial, which is Y minus H, which is Y minus L tangent theta equals 1 half A L squared over VI squared cosine squared theta once he's fallen, once the same amount of time has passed in both directions what we find is we get the exact same equation. So, no matter what, where the boy starts, if the project or the initial velocity, if the projectile is aimed at the boy, as the boy drops, no matter the velocity and no matter the distance, when the projectile travels distance L, the boy and the projectile will be in the exact same position. Uh, this still has the limiting factor that we had before, um, which is the boy must be far enough, to off, far enough off the ground so that when he falls down, he has enough time so that the um, water balloon can get there. So uh, I hope this helped. These are kind of interesting and classic physics problems and uh, kind of interesting to solve. All right. Have a good one. Thank you.